relaxed morning here in Okakuyo. Not too much on the mammalian front right now. A lovely bird chorus that has started for us. A couple of helmeted guinea fowl around, some weavers. And I'm sure we will be inundated with action at some point. Just waiting to see. Oh, it looks like Wildebeest running off there. And rather fast as well. Both of them. And you'll just see them in the distance at the moment. Let's wait to see if they do hold up. So, as I said, not too much on the mammalian front. However, as I said, that two Wildebeest galloping around. Are rather far away so hopefully they will come closer of course we have seen them rather close and enjoying some grazing but a little bit windy this morning so for our animals uh, that are mixed feeders like impalas and things like that I'm sure they'll more than likely be switching to a lot of grazing, a lot of feeding on grasses now rather than browsing, seeing as there is so much new fresh grass growth that's popping through. I'm sure they'll be taking advantage of that. So we haven't seen too much grooming or interaction amongst uh, mom and youngster yet here this morning. And it looks like it's trying to go into suckle a little bit. There we go, look at that. It looks like it may possibly be Tundi there on the right hand side. And that should be Sia and Mtetu down on the left. Just having a look at Tundi on the right at her neck region there. It looks quite sort of darkish. So I'm not too sure if she. was maybe lying down on her side but on her left hand side of her body because I'm just trying to think how her stomach area could be clean like that and, the, and her neck and top of her back is quite dirty so maybe she's been lying down on her other side and then she rolled onto the ridge line of her back There is just a constant stream of zebra and it's actually been quite fantastic just to watch them all coming through what we are going to do is we'll try to get a better view of them. Get nice and close and just watch as they bedazzle us. All those stripes getting rather confusing. But really lots of zebra at the moment and it's actually quite fantastic because we haven't seen zebra numbers like this for some time. So really, really awesome. And no complaints, at least from my end. The zebra kind of taking over from where the Adam stalks were. Although we could still see them later on today. We did see one and we did have that rather large flock around yesterday. So as it does kind of get towards early afternoon, that's when we've started to see their numbers pick up. And we just have to wait to see if they do come through. But lots of zebra through today and really no complaints at all. Still raining in Juma. I can't believe it. Whole sections of the southern park of the southern part of the Kruger National Park have washed away. So I feel like I feel like this rain is just going to be never ending. Luckily for us here on this side, it is just nice and windy, but it is overcast, so it's not too hot. And we're in the northern section looking for different cheetahs. We are looking for Pumalela's two sub-adult youngsters. We found a big herd of red hartebeest with some calves in the area as well. The occasional warthog, some plains zebra, some eland, but they're all scattered around us. And this is the area where the two sub-adults were last seen early this morning. Now, if you look at the body language of the red hartebeest, you can kind of see they're not totally relaxed. They're not grazing. 
across the board. They're not moving around much. They're staying very tightly packed and their heads are up. So they're listening, they're smelling something on the wind, they're looking out. And I think that's because the cheetah probably have a lingering smell in the air. Sadly, it is that time of the day where we do have to say cheerio, goodbye, au revoir. And do enjoy the rest of your Sunday after this. Of course, do stay tuned. Lots more going on throughout the course of the day. And obviously, Safari Bowl to finish it in the Sunset Safari. And from all of us here at Wild Earth, thank you once again for joining us. Thank you to all the zebra in particular, but of course the other wildlife that joined us and the wonderful locations and habitats we've been able to show you today. But do have a good rest of your weekend and of course a fantastic start to the week tomorrow.